The government of St. Kitts and Nevis, acting on the advice of the High Command of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force and other technocrats in the Ministry of National Security, approved the recommendation to invite the Barbados based Regional Security System, RSS, to deploy forces to St. Kitts and Nevis. In a televised address to the nation on Saturday, October 13, Prime Minister and Ministry of National Security, Dr. Timothy Harris, indicated that the RSS forces began arriving into Federation on Wednesday, October 10, and will continue to arrive into St. Kitts and Nevis in sufficient numbers to assist our ongoing efforts at ensuring citizen safety and security. There must be a reduction in the incidences of criminal acts in our country. In this regard, we have over time engaged civil society and our security forces in conversations about what can and should be done. After recent consultation with the High Command of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force and other technocrats, in the Ministry of National Security, the Cabinet of Ministers of the Government of St. Kitts and Nevis has approved their recommendation to invite the Barbados-based Regional Security System, RSS, to deploy forces to St. Kitts and Nevis. The National Security Minister further insisted that the police force would benefit from the additional manpower as a shortage of manpower affects the ability of the police to properly execute their strategic plan and as prompt they called from them for the RSS to augment the number of security personnel on the ground. The High Command of the Police has advised that the force would benefit from additional manpower at this time. The shortage of manpower affects the ability of the police to properly execute their strategic plan and has prompted the call from them for the RSS to augment the number of security personnel on the ground. Dr. Aris used his national address to ask for the fullest understanding and cooperation of the general public in their engagement with the RSS members and the members of the local security forces. The government continues to appeal to young Kittishans and divisions to take advantage of the career opportunities in serving their country as police officers. The RSS forces began arriving in the Federation on Wednesday the 10th, 2018, and will continue to arrive into St. Kitts and Nevis in sufficient numbers to assist our ongoing efforts at ensuring citizen security and safety. RSS members are already deployed throughout the communities with local national security personnel and their presence will help local law enforcement to expand the extent of their coverage of the country. Prime Minister Ari said the RSS forces will remain in St. Kitts and Nevis for as long as necessary until the security forces advise that their presence is no longer required. I am Sophia Lloyd reporting for SKN Newsline.